pumpkin. We'll be using two orange 260s and I bone these up just leaving enough that I can tie this into a loop in a minute. And then I've got a green 160. I've blown it up about halfway, about 16 or 20 inches or so. We're not going to use quite all of that. We're going to start by taking our two orange 160s and we're just going to tie the nozzle to the remaining tail. Tie them both into a loop, or 260s. take each one, divide it in, find the middle point, divide it into two equal bubbles, and we're going to fold it in half, so we're dividing it now into four equal bubbles, and then take and overlap one of the loops over the other, and you're going to have to take and roll one of the bubbles through to lock it in place, making basically like a little football. And then we're going to take our second one and do the same thing. Just like the first one. going to take the two of these and interlock them together. So basically, I'm going to take and insert one halfway into the other. And I can get all the twists to come together at both ends. And then you just want to take a couple of your bubbles from each one and twist them over and under each other so it's locked into place. Once you've got them all positioned, there we go. And I'll kind of mash it out a little bit. Get it to shape the way, however you want it to shape. That's the basic pumpkin there. And now we need to add our stem. So we're going to take our green 160. We're going to start by making a deep tulip twist on the end of this. So you take your finger and put it on the knot. Poke it as far as you can. Now this is a 160, so you're not going to be able to stick it too far, especially if you've got fat fingers like me. Reach through from the outside, grab the knot. And I want this stem to be longer, so what I'm going to do is change hands the knot is right there, and I'm going to take and kind of push this excess 160 up. So I'm forcing the knot deeper in and then grab it. And then I'm going to squeeze that a little bit and I force it out. And then I may do it again. Let's see, yeah. And just, what I'm doing is just essentially working the knot in further so I get more of a curl and twist it there. Now, hang on to that. What I want to make is three little fold twists here to make the leaves that are going to be on top of the pumpkin. At about a three inch level each. There we go. So what I've got here is there's my deep tulip twist and then three fold twists that I've made underneath that. We're going to pop the excess of this off. Secure that in. And then we just want to take Grab our pumpkin. You have to kind of spread it out a little bit. And you want to work this up in so you get it up in the knot where the tulip twist is up on top. And your three fold twists underneath. And then just bring your three fold twists out through different sections. Bringing them up to the top. Thus securing it in place. Oops. Sometimes one of them will pop. That's okay. It's twisted in tight enough that it will stay. And it's 
squeezing the sides of these to force it to kind of flatten out a little bit. And there you have a little Halloween pumpkin.